Ryan stared out the window, his gaze fixed on the dense forest that surrounded his family's cabin. The woods had always held a mysterious allure for him, but tonight they seemed darker than usual. The wind whispered through the trees, creating an eerie melody that sent shivers down his spine. As darkness settled over the landscape, Ryan's curiosity got the better of him. He grabbed his flashlight and stepped outside, the cold air biting at his skin. The moon cast an ethereal glow, illuminating the path into the heart of the forest. Ryan hesitated for a moment before venturing forward, his heart pounding in his chest. With each step, the familiar sounds of civilization grew fainter. The rustling leaves and chirping insects were replaced by an unnerving silence. Ryan's flashlight pierced the darkness, revealing gnarled branches and twisted tree trunks. The air grew thick with an oppressive stillness, as if the forest itself held its breath. As he delved deeper into the woods, Ryan noticed something peculiar. Faint whispers seemed to echo around him, unintelligible but unmistakable. He strained to listen, his senses on high alert. The whispers grew louder, and Ryan's pulse quickened. Were they voices or figments of his imagination? Suddenly, the whispers transformed into urgent murmurs, as if the forest itself were speaking. Ryan's heart raced as he tried to make sense of the words. The voices seemed to call his name, their tone filled with a mixture of desperation and warning. Ryan, Ryan, beware. Fear gripped him, but curiosity pushed him forward. He followed the voices deeper into the darkness, his steps becoming more determined. The forest became denser, the branches intertwining overhead, creating a canopy that blocked out the moonlight. Ryan's flashlight struggled to penetrate the thick, oppressive blackness. Then, as if by some unseen force, Ryan stumbled upon a clearing. The whispers ceased abruptly, and he found himself surrounded by ancient, towering trees. Their twisted forms seemed to loom over him menacingly, their presence suffocating. Ryan's breath caught in his throat as he surveyed his surroundings, a chill running down his spine. It was in this moment, standing alone in the heart of the dark forest, that Ryan realized he had crossed a threshold into an unknown realm. The whispers had guided him here, but for what purpose, he did not yet understand. The forest held secrets, and he was determined to uncover them. Ryan's eyes strained to adjust to the sudden darkness. He stood frozen, enveloped by an eerie silence broken only by the soft whispers that seemed to echo from all directions. The oppressive weight of the shadows pressed down on him, suffocating his every breath. Summoning his courage, Ryan took a tentative step forward, his outstretched hand grazing the rough bark of a nearby tree. The whispers grew louder, their urgent tone filling his ears. He had the distinct feeling that he was being guided, albeit into an unknown and treacherous path. With each step, the forest seemed to shift and twist, as if it were a living, breathing entity. The trees leaned closer, their branches reaching out like skeletal fingers, as if eager to snatch him away into the depths of the darkness. Ryan's heart raced, his palms slick with cold sweat. Time lost all meaning as Ryan continued his journey, navigating the labyrinthine trails of the forest. The shadows danced around him, teasing and taunting, their presence an ever-present reminder of the unknown dangers that lurked just out of sight. Suddenly, a piercing howl cut through the air, sending a chill down Ryan's spine. He turned towards the source of the sound and caught sight of a pair of glowing eyes peering at him from the underbrush. Fear gripped him as he realized he was not alone in the darkness. The creature emerged, its form indistinguishable in the dim light. It moved with unnatural agility, its every movement a grotesque contortion of limbs. Ryan's breath caught in his throat as he realized he was face to face with a creature born of nightmares. Summoning every ounce of strength, Ryan took a step back, but the creature advanced, its eyes fixed on him with a predatory gaze. His mind raced, searching for an escape, but the forest seemed to close in, trapping him within its grasp. In a last-ditch effort, Ryan let out a primal scream, a cry of defiance against the encroaching darkness. 
To his surprise, the creature recoiled, its ears flattening against its skull. It hesitated for a moment before retreating into the shadows, disappearing as swiftly as it had appeared. Breathing heavily, Ryan stood alone once again, the whispers fading into the night. The forest around him seemed to relax, its malevolence temporarily appeased. He realized that he had somehow gained a momentary respite, but the true nature of the dark woods still eluded him. As Ryan stood there, contemplating his next move, a single beam of moonlight pierced through the dense canopy above, illuminating a path that had previously been concealed. It beckoned him forward, offering a glimmer of hope amidst the encroaching darkness. Ryan followed the beam of moonlight, its gentle glow guiding him deeper into the heart of the forest. The path twisted and turned, leading him through ancient trees and overgrown foliage. The whispers of the forest returned, but now they carried a different tone, as if urging him forward, whispering secrets that begged to be unraveled. As he walked, Ryan noticed subtle changes in his surroundings. The air grew colder, carrying with it a faint scent of decay. The once vibrant flora gave way to withered plants and twisted vines, as if the forest itself had succumbed to a forgotten darkness. Yet, an inexplicable pull drove him forward, fueling his determination. Finally, the path opened up into a small glade. In the center stood an ancient stone pedestal, covered in intricate engravings. Ryan approached cautiously, running his fingers over the weathered markings. A surge of energy coursed through him as he realized that he had stumbled upon something of great significance. The whispers grew more fervent, their voices intertwining with the rustling of leaves. They seemed to be guiding him to a specific inscription on the pedestal. Ryan's eyes traced the lines, his mind piecing together the forgotten language. Bearer of light, seeker of truth, unlock the secrets buried in this ancient booth. By moon's grace, the darkness shall recede. Reveal the knowledge that the forest keeps. In that moment, Ryan understood that he had been chosen to uncover the truth hidden within the dark forest. His journey had led him to this pivotal moment, where he held the key to unlocking the long-forgotten secrets. Summoning his courage, Ryan closed his eyes and recited the ancient incantation, his voice resonating through the glade. The pedestal trembled, and a blinding light burst forth, illuminating the entire clearing. The forest seemed to hold its breath in anticipation. As the light faded, a surge of knowledge flowed through Ryan's mind. He saw glimpses of the forest's past, of a time when it teemed with vibrant life and ancient guardians who ensured its harmony. But something had gone awry, plunging the forest into darkness and unleashing malevolent forces. Now armed with the truth, Ryan felt a renewed sense of purpose. The forest had chosen him to restore its balance and protect its ancient secrets. The whispers returned, no longer filled with caution but with gratitude and guidance. With newfound confidence, Ryan embarked on a mission to rid the forest of its darkness. Armed with the ancient knowledge and the support of the forest's ethereal voices, he sought out the ancient guardians who still lingered within the shadows. Corrupted by the darkness, they were meant to vanquish. Through harrowing trials and fierce battles, Ryan faced the twisted and corrupted guardians, their once majestic forms contorted and filled with malice. Yet he remained steadfast, using the light within him to restore their spirits and release them from their torment. As the last of the corrupted guardians was freed, a wave of relief washed over the forest. The once oppressive darkness receded, replaced by a soft, ethereal glow that bathed the trees and underbrush. Life began to return to the forest, the sounds of nature echoing once again. Ryan stood at the edge of the dark forest, a sense of accomplishment filling his being. The forest had embraced him as its champion, entrusting him with the knowledge and responsibility to protect its secrets for generations to come. He knew that the whispers would always guide him, serving as a reminder of the unbreakable bond forged between him and the ancient woods. Sandy, a young amateur photographer, was always drawn to the mystery and beauty of dark forests. 
She was known for her nature photographs, but her true desire lay in capturing the secrets that dark forests held within them. One chilly autumn morning, Sandy decided to venture into the deepest and most tangled forest in the region. Armed with her camera and a backpack filled with necessary equipment, she set foot on an overgrown path that seemed to lead to an unexplored world. As she progressed deeper into the forest, Sandy felt the atmosphere change. The silence was so profound that she could only hear her own footsteps and her breath. The wind whispered through the trees, creating ghostly rustles, as if inviting her into a world of mysteries and dark secrets. Suddenly, Sandy noticed something peculiar among the trees. There in the distance appeared a silhouette that was barely discernible in the dim light. Her heart raced, and she approached resolutely, aiming to capture this enigma on her camera. As Sandy got closer, she discovered that it was a massive statue carved out of black marble. It depicted a creature with sunken eyes and wings outstretched, as if waiting for something or someone. Sandy was captivated by its beauty, and at the same time, its eerie aura. She raised her camera to capture this incredible sight when suddenly the statue came to life. The creature's eyes ignited with a blue glow, and its wings trembled as if longing to take flight. In a soft, resonant voice, the statue spoke, its words carrying an air of mystery. Welcome, seeker of the dark forest's secrets, it said. I am the guardian of these woods, entrusted with the preservation of its hidden truths. But be warned, for the secrets you seek are not easily uncovered. Sandy's heart raced with a mix of excitement and trepidation. She had long yearned to capture the essence of the dark forest, to unravel its enigmas through her photography. This encounter felt like an extraordinary opportunity, one she couldn't let slip away. With a steady hand, Sandy raised her camera and began capturing images of the animated statue. She focused on capturing the intricate details of its carved features, the haunting expression in its eyes, and the texture of the surrounding forest. Each click of the camera shutter felt like a step closer to unlocking the forest's secrets. As Sandy continued to photograph the animated statue, she noticed subtle changes in the atmosphere around her. The forest seemed to come alive, as if awakened by her presence. The whispering wind grew louder, carrying with it the echoes of forgotten tales. Shadows danced playfully among the trees, revealing glimpses of hidden pathways. Embracing her curiosity, Sandy ventured deeper into the forest, following the mysterious paths illuminated by dappled sunlight. She navigated through dense undergrowth and climbed over fallen logs, her camera capturing every magical moment that unfolded before her. Time seemed to lose its meaning as Sandy became engrossed in her exploration. She discovered hidden clearings adorned with delicate wildflowers, witnessed the graceful flight of rare birds, and documented the interplay of light and shadows in the ancient woodland. As darkness descended upon the forest, a chill ran down Sandy's spine. The once enchanting woods now seemed cloaked in an eerie silence. Shadows stretched and twisted, taking on menacing forms that seemed to move with a life of their own. Sandy's heart pounded in her chest as she tried to retrace her steps. But the forest had transformed. The familiar landmarks had vanished, and the path she had followed had disappeared into an impenetrable thicket. Panic threatened to consume her, but she knew that she had to remain calm and find a way out. She remembered the statue's warning about the secrets of the dark forest and wondered if her insatiable curiosity had led her into a trap. Regret washed over her, but she refused to succumb to despair. With her camera still in hand, she decided to rely on her instincts and the art of photography to guide her through this ominous maze. Sandy adjusted her camera settings to capture the faintest traces of light that managed to penetrate the dense canopy above. She took calculated steps, following the feeble glimmers that danced among the trees. Shadows played tricks on her perception, making the forest appear as a twisted labyrinth. But Sandy pressed on, her determination fueling her every move. She snapped photos along the way, capturing the haunting beauty of the dark forest in its most enigmatic moments. She noticed that the shadows, though foreboding, held a certain allure that drew her deeper into their grasp. 
As she wandered deeper into the forest, Sandy noticed a subtle shift in the shadow's behavior. They seemed to respond to her presence, growing bolder and more animated. Whispers filled the air, echoing through the dense foliage. She strained to listen, hoping to decipher their cryptic messages. Suddenly, a ray of moonlight pierced through the thick canopy, illuminating a path ahead. Sandy's heart skipped a beat as she realized it was her chance to escape the clutches of the labyrinthine forest. She hurriedly followed the beckoning glow, her camera capturing the ethereal scene. With each step she took, the shadows seemed to retreat, allowing her passage. It was as if they acknowledged her respect for the forest and her relentless pursuit of its secrets. The forest, sensing her genuine reverence, had chosen to reveal its true nature. Finally, Sandy emerged from the dense vegetation and found herself standing at the forest's edge. The moon bathed the clearing in a soft, silvery light, and a sense of relief washed over her. She turned back to look at the dark forest, its shadows undulating in the distance, bidding her farewell. Sandy realized that the dark forest had tested her, both her spirit and her photographic skills. It had challenged her to confront her fears, to embrace the unknown, and to capture the beauty that lies within darkness. She would forever carry the memories and the photographs as a testament to her journey.